All right, so I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step on how to uh, pull the ECU to send it out to D-Rob to get it unlocked if you're installing Flash Pro or whatever other program you're going to use. Um, so here's a little step-by-step -step video on how to do it on the new Integra Type S. So the first step is to disconnect the battery. You're going to need a 10 mil, either a wrench or a socket. Um, it's just that 10 right there and then underneath this cover kind of just pop it up and there's another 10 mil there I just fold it over that way so it's not going to touch. Lay this one out over there. Make sure it's not going to touch anything. And you're disconnected. All right, now that you got the battery disconnected, you can go ahead and get into the actual ECU part, which is right here. Battery's there, ECU's there. There's uh, some little clips on the each side, four of them. All you got to do is pop them up. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but. And this takes this little cover off, and then you can see you have your ECU that's mounted in this plastic piece and the connectors. What I would recommend doing is just getting it disconnected first and then unbolting it. So the way that these connectors work, you almost feel like you're breaking them sometimes. You just have to be very careful. Um, just You just pry up on it. You shouldn't have to use any tools. You should just do it just with your hands. If you're struggling, try and like put pressure down and jiggle the wires a little bit. Um, that will usually help you, but I'll go ahead and show you how it actually works. So on this one, you just simply lift it up and you can see it's like pushing back on the release. And you have to go pretty far. And once you get there, then you can start loosening up the wires and then push it all the way forward and then it clicks. And when it clicks, you're good to just pull it out. So then you got to decide. Do the same for this side, pull it up, it starts to get a little tricky and then, then it's fully locked and you just pull it up out of the way. Then the next step you're going to do is unbolt the ECU um, from the car. So there is a 10 mil bolt there and then way down there you can kind of see it, there's another 10 mil. So take those two 10 mils out. This one, you're gonna need a magnet. If you take it out with just the extension, you're gonna drop it and lose the bolt. Ask me how I know. So take those two 10 mils out, and then you'll be able to pull the ECU out. Need an extension, 10 mil. Magnet.
once you get them unbolted, you'll be able to access these little, uh, they're like little, uh, the harness clips. You can just pinch them, push them out of the way. Then the ECU should be able to come out. There you go, ECU's out. So the last thing you're gonna wanna do is take the ECU out of the, I don't know what you wanna call it, maybe the uh, brackets. It's more of like a plastic box, but there is four 10 millimeter nuts that hold it in. So we'll go ahead and pop those off. Once you get it off, then it's just the, the metal bracket. It's just a plastic piece now. You can see there's little like uh, safety clips. So you just have to push them down. It takes two hands, so. So once you pop it out, you could use a screwdriver or your hands like I just did, but screwdriver is probably better. That way you don't break the plastic, so be careful. Um, but once you get it out, this is what it looks like. And you're just going to want to package it up real nice and ship it to them. Don't ship it half-assed. These are very expensive, so make sure that you use a lot of proper packaging. What I usually do is I just take a bunch of the padded packs and I just wrap it and then wrap it and wrap it and then wrap it and then put it in a box and send it out. Ship the shit out. Whoa! Alright, that was fast. We got the ECU back already. It's only been like 30 seconds. So I'm going to show you how to reinstall it now that Derek had unlocked it and we're about to put our flash bar on. So let's reinstall it and then I'll show you step by step on that. And then if you want to, um, at the end of this video, I'll show you how to load up a simple base map, but you should always get it properly tuned. But I'm going to load up the Honda Auto one. Get some numbers on the dyno, and then we're going to have uh, D-Rob tune it, and we're going to see what happens. The bracket has an arrow on it, telling you which way it goes. Put your nuts back on. They do not have to be crazy tight, so use a hand tool if you feel like it, but I'm not going to. Then you're ready to go back in the car. Make sure as you put it in, you uh, put your harnesses back on. It's easier to do before you bolt it down. I'll show you real quick. See how it's kind of like out? I can maneuver it a little bit. So it's just easier to get those two uh, harnesses back on. But it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you guys a little tip on how to not lose this 10 mil that's all the way down there. So what I always do is just take a little bit of paper. You don't need this much, but just tear off a little piece. I'm gonna set the camera down so you can see. Paper, socket, bolt. Now it don't fall out. So you can put it on your extension and you can get it in there. If you try to get it in there without something holding it in, you're most likely gonna drop it and it sucks.
Now all you have to do is just put your connectors back on. What I found on this when putting it back together, it's kind of easier to put the rubber piece in here and then work it like all in one instead of like trying to get it lined up and then get the rubber piece on. So you got to kind of do it all in like one motion. You'll know when you have it going in right because it'll be really easy and the, the connector will actually like suck down as you go to close it. Make sure it clicks in place. Do the same for that side. Again, so it's in right now. You can see you just push that in. Don't force it. It's plastic. If you're forcing it, it's not working right. Make sure you got all your rubber pieces in tight. Then you can just put this piece back on and hook up your battery. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to upload a map um, <clears throat> on the Flash Pro. Once you get it plugged in, you have to register it. I'm just gonna go step by step on what to do. So you can see it's plugged in down there. Go ahead and plug it in once you open up the manager. Turn the key on. So it's just doing an update. It said unplug the Flash Pro from the car to do this update. It's upgrading the firmware. Then I'll replug it in and we'll keep going. Brand new Flash Pro that I just got from Derek. So just needed an update. All right, plug it back in. So once you're plugged in, you can see at the bottom of the screen it shows everything is working correctly the driver the flash pro obd ecu and it's unlocked first thing you're going to need to do is register and then lock it to the car so if you go up into the flash pro tab registered owner update your info i'm going to go ahead and put all my info in so once you got all your information in you just go ahead and hit next it's gonna ask you USA street vehicle, USA competition vehicle outside the US. Due to the uh, nature of the EPA stuff, just uh, pick whatever one you choose. And then you'll register it, gotta have internet fully registered, done, cool. Now, the next thing to do is go to the online tab and lock it to your car. So you click lock to vehicle. Blah, 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 yep, read it, good. So that basically locks it to the car. So now it can only be used on your car. Now that it's locked, we can go ahead and upload a base map. So they have predetermined maps in there, click the new calibration button. Then in a pop up, Integra Type S, which is what we have. Um, and then just pick which one best suits your car. My car is 100% stock, so I'm just going to click the, go through, see which ones of these make sense, downpipe, 91, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna click their 93 octane setting and hit OK. And basically it gives you a bunch of options. If you're not a tuner, then you should just leave this alone and leave it how it is. If you know what you're doing, you can uh, play with that a little bit. I do not want the rev hang on. So that's disabled. 
Well, I'm going to leave it like this since uh, D Rob is going to tune it anyways. And then you just hit the upload button. Once you hit the upload button, it says uh, my battery's low because it's cold as hell outside. Put a charger on it if you think uh, it's actually low. And then it's going to go through and upload. The Type R and the Integra take forever to upload. I'm not going to sit here and show that, but I'll show you again where the arrow is. After it's uploading, it's going to have you cycle the power and then you're done. So that's the end of the video. So you can go ahead and upload yours and uh, have fun. But our portion of the video next is going to be um, I'm going to do uh, some dyno pulls on this and then uh, D Rob is going to tune it and we're going to see what a bone stock car will do. But just so you guys can see, I didn't really show it the upload arrow is right there little up arrow or otherwise you can hit online upload Spicy or what? For a base map, it's pretty cool. Gonna film Griff? So originally the car made 305 with 314 torque. Honda's base map says 327 with 351 torque. So should be a huge difference, but. It's not going to stay like this for long because we're going to have D-Rob do a full tune on it.